Hi, so the purpose of this video series is just for me to record a diary of me learning machine learning. Um, I'm starting off with fast AI, just because I really like the way it starts from a top-down approach instead of a bottom-up where you have to learn all the mathematics underneath. Uh, I've tried to learn from books before and they always start off with all the deep mathematics. You get bogged down and you kind of lose interest in it after a while. So yeah, I've decided to go with fast AI. And um, yeah, I, I mean, I've only just started, so obviously this is gonna be a diary of, of that and how I'm going through that. You can come over here to fast.ai and look at the course. Um, I do have a pretty new MacBook Pro uh, with a nice GPU, but apparently it has to be an NVIDIA for most machine learning now, which is unfortunate. So you do have to run some kind of server to actually do this course. And this course comprises of Jupyter Notebooks, if you're not aware of those. They're basically um, kind of documents with code that you can run, and it's very good for also experimenting, stepping back and forth between the code. And so I did try uh, Colab, which is hosted on Google, but um, I just couldn't get them to run. So I've ended up using AWS SageMaker uh, I use the AWS a lot, so I'm pretty familiar with AWS, but not SageMaker. But FastAI has some really good documentation on here about how to set it up. One wrinkle is that you do have to request the machine type before you start, because they don't give you this by default. So that took me about a day. Uh, it's a lot quicker if you're requesting from a company account, but from a personal account, it's a little bit slower. Uh, so I've got that now and I followed this through. Um, they use AWS Cloud Formation to uh, create the stack. So a stack is basically all the resources you need for AWS. So in this case, what we really care about is the machine uh, that's running. Uh, it's a notebook instance, Jupyter Notebook instance. So I've actually gone ahead and, and run that now that I have the, uh, the machine. Uh, Here's my ticket that was uh, for requesting it. They actually link you to how to set up that ticket and how to fill that in, so that's pretty straightforward. Um, and then here's my stack over here. Uh, it's complete. So the first time it takes a while, maybe 10 minutes to set up. But once that's up and running, you can come back over to Amazon SageMaker and you'll find your notebook instances here. You have a fast AI v4. And then it's just simply clicking on Open Jupyter and then start with the intro. So these, these Jupyter Notebooks are basically the book open sourced. And so that's why sometimes you'll see some odd stuff in the, in the book for formatting. Um, this is mentioned actually in the, in the course the first time you actually do need to choose fast AI and if you don't see fast AI in that list then it's because in the background it's still installing all the dependencies so let's set the kernel as that and then this is what I mean by some odd odd formatting and so they have this here and they explain in the videos uh, this is mainly for the formatting of the book because the book is published from from these as well and even though it's open source, all this um, is covered by a license that prevents you from actually creating a PDF or recreating it. So they want you to uh, buy the book, uh, which is fair enough. So this is the this, so this is the playbook, and you can run these uh, install the dependencies, and they just work through this. It's probably going to take a few minutes to install the dependencies, so. Let's go back over here and have a look at the at the lessons. So I've done lesson one. Lesson one basically takes you back to 1943, tells you about the, the early pioneers of, of neural networks and how they viewed it um, and what they discovered. And so that, that's pretty interesting and kind of builds up the structure of what a machine model and how it's trained looks like some pretty basic schematics um, and yeah it really drops you in at a high level and basically says let's build some models 
uh, and I really like that. And then so as you progress through the lessons, um, I haven't done the lessons yet, I'm still on lesson two, but as you progress through those, you go deeper into the stack and start getting into the, to the mathematics. So yeah, over here, it looks like um, this ran, it has a warning, but I think we can ignore that. Run this, chapter intro, if you just press run on all these, they're all text and they won't do anything. Um, you basically go down for the book. The book will actually tell you how to use the book. So that's good. So yeah, if we get down to something like, like this, this is actually building a model. Um, and I'm not gonna go too deep into this because I think the, the fast AI videos are gonna explain this far better than I can. Um, but it's pretty cool, like I now have this, this running, up and running on AWS and it's building my model. They have these little progress bars here. So we should be able to see this going along. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. But this model here is building like images database. It's learning to recognize cats or dogs. So that's my intro to machine learning learning that I'm doing with fast AI. As I mentioned, it's just kind of my video diary to keep track of like what I'm learning and, and share. Um, and yeah, if you find it helpful, hopefully see you in the next one.